Hi, this is Jill from Boomer Tech Adventures, and in this short video, we're going to explore QR codes. Now, you may be asking, well, what is a QR code? Well, simply, QR stands for quick response. And a QR code, you see example over to the right, it's that black and white, oh, it almost looks like a mosaic. It's always a square shape and it has all these uh, funny shapes inside. And when you scan it, it will take you to specific information. So if you look at the yellow image, there's a QR code, and if you look right to the right of it, it says scan this QR code using your smartphone to go to the Wikipedia article on Doomsday. Well, this is from a museum, and it's an exhibit about the Doomsday book, and they are instructing the patron to use their smartphone to find out more information. And so when the QR code is scanned, indeed what pops up on the smartphone or a tablet is the Wikipedia article about the Doomsday Book. Now, our newer smartphones and tablets use the camera app to read. You don't have to go to the App Store and download anything. However, if you have an older smartphone or an older tablet, you may have to go to either the App Store for Apple products or Google Play Store for Androids and download a QR reader app. Now the good news is they're free. Where do we find QR codes? Well, they are just about everywhere. Catalog companies are using them, museums use them, Teachers use them on their website or in their classroom so the kids can scan them with their phone on the way out the door or when they're at home and find out what their homework assignment is. You'll find them in malls. Evidently, even Times Square businesses use QR codes. So what you're seeing here is a catalog, a seed catalog, and there is a QR code in the upper left-hand corner. And notice it says, scan here to shop our mobile site. So when I scanned it, indeed what showed up was a table of contents, and I could then click on wherever I wanted to go. So how do you use them? Well, again, if you have a, a newer smartphone, an iPhone or an Android, or a newer iPad or Android tablet, you simply have to open up your camera app. And when you do, you hold your camera app, the screen, over the QR code. And I know it's hard to see, but if you look very closely, you'll see there are yellow brackets. And what you want to do is to get that QR code within those brackets. And once you do, what will happen is, Either at the top of your screen or the bottom of the screen, you will get the option to open that particular website. Or sometimes, depending on your device, the website might just automatically open. But what you're looking at is my iPhone, and you see at the top, once I scan that QR code, I've got the message, open YouTube.com in Safari. So I tap that can see at the top, I tapped on YouTube.com. Uh, and what happened is, next, I get the screen for Boomer Tech Adventures YouTube channel. Now, when I say Android, some folks don't really know what I mean. So Android devices are the ones made by Samsung, Motorola, Asus, etc. Uh, just about any smartphone that is not an iPhone is probably an Android. So remember, you need to get the QR code bracketed in those four corners. Now, what if you have an older phone or an older, older tablet? Well, you need to go to your App Store if uh, you have Apple's 
or you go to the Google Play Store if you have an Android. Now again, the good news is these QR readers are free. And I advise you before you choose which one to download to make sure you read the reviews. And you can see the one on the left, it says recommended for you. And then under this is like 4.7, 4.7, 4.4. That's out of five points. And so you can tell which ones users have rated as uh, really good. The one on the right is from the Apple App Store and they use stars. And so you can see the QR reader one, the first one has five stars. So once you choose which one you want, you simply download it and then you'll be ready to go. Well, how do they work? They work very similar to when you just use your phone app or your camera app on uh, a newer phone or newer tablet. You're going to look for those four brackets once you open the QR reader. When you see those four brackets, you want to focus on the code. Now here's a picture. On the left is what it looks like on a Samsung tablet, which is an Android. And on the right, you see the brackets are a little bit different shape, but that's on an iPad. Now, usually what happens is once that QR code is within those brackets, the website will automatically open. Now, this is kind of neat. There's an added advantage of the QR readers. They also, most of them, work with barcodes. At the present time, on iPhone and the newer Androids, do not read barcodes without a uh, third-party app. But if you get a QR reader, it will probably read the barcode. And so you see an example here. I'm reading a barcode on uh, a book, and then the information about that book is in the image right below it. So that is kind of a cool option. Now, what if you want to create a QR code and you might be saying, well, why would I do that? Well, some people have their own businesses and they might find QR codes to be useful. So let me show you how to do that. You simply have to go to the internet to Google and to search the words QR code generator and you will see a variety of options pop up and most of them are free. In this screen, I'm using a QR code generator. That's the name of the website. And if you look, you see it simply says, enter your website text or drop a file here. So I am going to simply copy and paste Boomer Tech Adventures Facebook URL into that space. Once I do that, the QR code is automatically generated. And you can see it there over on the right where the arrow is pointed. And then all I have to do is take a screenshot or you see I have the option to download it. See the little green button? It says download it as a JPEG. So that's pretty uh, simple to use. And again, uh, if you're a teacher, you might use them with your classes, or if you are a business owner, you might think of a variety of ways that you might want to use QR codes. And they're this easy to create. Now, here you can practice. If you have a newer smartphone or tablet, just open your camera app and focus as brackets over that QR code and it will take you to a video on how to make good luck pot stickers for the Lunar New Year of the Ox. And guaranteed they're pretty tasty.
Again, this has been Jill from Boomer Tech Adventures. You see me there in the picture with my two colleagues, Ed and Chris. And uh, I have left here three QR codes for your adventures. Uh, we have a web page. We have a YouTube channel with over 100 uh, videos that will be helpful. And also we have a Facebook which page which we are constantly updating. So I hope you find QR codes easy to use and easy to generate. Thanks for stopping by.